now that the competition has ended and students are getting settled into their old routines, the Guyana Learning Channel is sitting down with a few of the finalists in their first ever exclusive interview to find out what their journey has been like from the anxiousness of auditions all the way to the exhilarating feelings of the nationals. Let's hear what they have to say. Now, joining us for this interview, we have one of the youngest uh, participants uh, to be a part of the Spell Off of the Guyana Learning Channel's National Spell It competition. So we're here with Shania Mohitram. Shania, first of all, congratulations on making it all the way to the Spell Offs of the Spell It competition. You know, how did you feel being a part of, or being one of the youngest rather, to be a part of this competition? I felt very nervous and excited at the same time. Yeah. So were you at any point in time intimidated by the fact that, you know, you're just 10 years old and you're competing against uh, 12, 13 and 14 year old students? Were you intimidated? Were you scared by that? No, I wasn't. That is awesome. So tell me, why did you choose to participate in the Spell It competition in the first place? I chose to participate because I enjoy spelling because it's one of my hobbies. So you enjoy spelling as a hobby. Uh, tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to become a lawyer. A lawyer, so that means you do a lot of reading. Is reading another one of your hobbies? Yes, it is. Did reading help you throughout your uh, spell it journey? Did reading help you along the line? Yes, it did. It helped me to pronounce the words. Things I had done to prepare for the competition was every night I would sit down um, spelling all 900 plus words. I had my parents along my side. Your parents, they have been your biggest supporters throughout this entire competition, I assume. Yes, they did. So tell me, was there any word that you were looking for, that you were anticipating, that you were hoping that the pronouncers would give you? Any word in particular? Well, I was hoping for a trichotillomania. Oh, so you can spell that word off the top of your head? Yes, I can. Let's hear it. Trichotillomania, T-R-I-C-H-O-T-I-L-L-O-M-A-N-I-A, trichotillomania. That is correct. Awesome job. So, but did you get that word? No, I didn't. We know that you're just 10 years old. Will you be participating in next year's competition? Yes. So you're preparing for that as well. So how do you feel? Do you feel that you're going to walk away next year's champion? Yes, I would. Uh, I know in the spell-offs, um, you had to spell words at a very rapid pace. Now, what was your secret behind that? Did you practice spelling very fast or, or is it something that came naturally to you? It came naturally to me. So you didn't practice that whatsoever? No. How did you feel though, uh, seeing the other contestants go up and you know having to look at them spell really fast? Uh, how did you feel? Were you intimidated at any point? Were you scared? Yes, I was. I thought they would walk away with the trophy. Uh, and what did you do to calm yourself down? I would practice spelling the words as they were spelling. Practice spelling while they were spelling. And that kind of calmed you down a bit. Yes. All right. So you know that you're going to be on TV now. So everybody's going to know Shania, and who Shania is. How do you feel about that? I feel kind of popular. You feel popular? <laughs> As you should, and it is well deserved. So tell me. Um, for all the kids out there that are going to be looking at you, that are going to be seeing you spelling, and they're going to be, whoa, she's just 10 years old and she's spelling those big, big words. Like, what bit of advice do you have for them? You know, they may want to join the competition next year. So what would you like to tell them? I would like to give them a bit of advice about if they have any, anyone who is supporting them spelling the words and if they could take time, time off and practice spelling the words every night. So thank you very much, Shania. You heard it from one of our youngest uh, Spell It finalists.